What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team that showcases Soul Galio, weakness policy Soul Galio, I should say, and Assault Vest Gudra. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But I was recently checking my analytics, and about 50% of my viewers, almost half of them, are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you guys, that's one of you guys watching the video, make sure you scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me yet again. But getting started with this team in that top left corner, we have the one and only Solgaleo. And I absolutely love this restricted mod, even though it was pretty bad in the last series. I haven't really used it in the last series because it was that bad, but in the Dynamax format, it is super, super strong, and it is amazing when it's using that weakness policy. This Pokemon has full metal body, which kind of works as clear body. Abilities and stuff like that cannot change uh, its stats, so that's going to be really, really good. He's also rocking the weakness policy as his item, Protect, EQ, Sunsteel Strike, and Wild Charge for our coverage move. Right next to him is Grimstrong. I love Grimstrong, man. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit now, you guys know I absolutely love Grimstrong. He's one of my favorite Pokemon to use. He's not like my favorite Pokemon on designs. He's just like one of my favorite Pokemon to use just because his prankster ability and his move pool that he gets from. He just gets such a good variety of moves that can rock out in all different situations. This thing has Sucker Punch for his first move, which we can use to hit up on opposing Pokemon for first turn priority or to be used to proc our weakness policy on our Soul Galio. He also has Thunder Wave for Paralyzes and Speed Control, Light Screen to set up the screen, and Spirit Break for Stab, Special Attack Drops. Middle left is going to be Gyarados, our first Intimidate Pokemon. Gotta love this Pokemon. Gotta love this Pokemon. Really, really good all around. He is pretty strong in Dynamax, but I just don't see us really Dynamaxing this Pokemon all too often in today's video because he's really not there for that. He's got the Intimidate. That's what we're going to be really be using him for, for that physical attack drop. And then he's also holding that Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. He's got Waterfall, Power Whip, Protect, and Taunt to Taunt opposing support Pokemon. Right next to him is our second Intimidate Pokemon, which is Incineroar. Not even going to say anything about this Pokemon. Love this guy, super strong, great in any situation, let's move on. Bottom left corner is Gudra. Gudra is an absolute beast, especially in the Dynamax format. Cannot wait to use it again and show it off for you guys. He's going to be one of those Pokemon where we'll, we'll probably Dynamax him in today's video. He's just great all around. He's got Sap Sipper ability, which makes him eat up grass shots or just like soak him in. I don't even know how to like say that, but like he can't get hit by grass shots. It's basically Storm Drain, but for grass. He also has that Assault Vest, so he's really, really beefy. And then he's got this amazing move set of Draco Meteor for Sap. Sludge Bomb, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower all for coverage moves. Bottom right is our final Pokemon for squad, and that is going to be Primarina. I do like this Pokemon a lot. I do think Tapu Fini is the better choice when it comes to Water and Berry type, but Primarina works really, really well because she can learn Life Dew. I actually think Tapu Fini can learn Life Dew. It might be able to, but I do like Tapu Fini as a better choice, but Primarina is not bad at all. Torrent Ability, Leftovers as items, and then we got Protect, Life Dew, Moonblast, and Scald for the moveset. Guys, if you want to try the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rack double ladder. Look to get some wins for the Solgaleo and Gudra Series 11 team. Our team is looking so good. I just love the aesthetic look of it. Just look at it on the left side. Looking amazing. You got the Solgaleo, you got the Gudra in there, and then the Gyarados is just looking so tough. But hey, we're hopping into our first battle for today's video. Going up against a Rain slash Sun team. He could start to rain with the Kyrie. He can go with the Sunny Day with Wimscott for the Charizard. So this one's looking a little tough for the weather war, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be able to roll out here. He also has a Regilecki, who's great for speed control and is a powerhouse hitter. Then he has the Barra Scooter for Swift Swim and the Robin for a back end Pokemon. Okay, um, how should I play this one? I think Gudra might be a must, because we can just change up weather with Hailstorm. But I could also proc policy with the Solgaleo, which is really, really good. And he cannot speed control me, so I am gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna lead the Solgaleo Grimstorm combo, bring Gudra in the back end, and then final Pokemon. I'm thinking Gyarados or Incineroar. What's the call here? Hmm. I'm thinking Incineroar could be really, really good. I do like I do like Incineroar, so let's rock out with him. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Let's hop into our first battle and look to grab ourselves a win for today's video. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What question of the day, what is your favorite type of weather team to use in ranked battles? Personally, I'm a big fan of Sandstorm. I love Sandstorm. It's just so different from the other two considering rain and heat is used all the time. I think hail is pretty cool, but I just think... uh. Rain and drought is just used is an overused uh, weather, so I really do enjoy using the what's it called, using the sandstorm, and especially because Extra is one of my favorite Pokemon and he just thrives in it, so really really fun to use that. But he's gonna go into Whimsicott and oh, 
Whimsicott and Charizard. And at this point, I might just let him proc my own policy. The fire move. And then we can just go into a Latrine. He's gonna he's definitely gonna Dynamax Sunny Day and go into a wildfire, right? I do think that's 100 percent the play. So I'm gonna let him proc my policy here. To really protect, right? Yeah, yeah, all day. And then we're going to Light Screen, then we're gonna Thunder Wave, and we're going to take out the Charizard. That is our play. We're calling it now. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty here. Let's do him dirty here. I got this. I got it, Joe. We 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 make the we make the right calls here. We know how to play. We know how to play this game. Let's see what he does here. Let's see his dude's turn. Is he going to Tailwind? No, he's definitely Sunny Day. He'll, he'll Tailwind next turn. He will Tailwind next turn. So we protect. He's going to set up, or we're going to set up a late screen. And go ahead. Do your little Sunny Day thing. Do your Sunny Day. Oh, no. It goes for a Gleam. Okay. I'm cool with that. Did you read a Protect? Don't tell me you read a Protect. Don't tell me you read a Protect. That's for the Wildfire. That should be going in Solgaleo, right? Yep. Okay. So he does not... He does not set up a Tailwind or go into a Sunday Day, so I'm cool with that. And at this point, we have our weakness policy rocked. I can easily go into a Dynamax Thunder Wave, and now I'm thinking of just dropping in a, a Lightning move, right? Do I still Dynamax? I think I still Dynamax, right? I think Dynamax is the call. This Lightning over onto him. And I'm thinking I still should be able to take out. Then we just Thunder Wave onto him as well, just so he doesn't outspeed us. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I think, I think it's a good turn. I think it's a solid turn. I'm not sure if it's going to take out. I think it might. I think it should. But we shall see. Because Charizard is... He's pretty lightweight. Pretty much a lightweight. He's not He's not that bulky. And with this weakness policy prop, he should be able to do a great amount of damage. But still there to here. So okay, he's going to Dynamax. We're going to get some HP here. We're going to get Thriving. And I wonder what Wimsy is going to do. He's going to go for an indoor. Acting like we hit nothing with a steel move. Nah, it ain't happening. You just wasted a turn. Thunder Wave popping over here. We got to get rid of this Charizard here. We're paralyzing that thing. Slowing it down. And we go first now. Max Lenny coming out here. Give him the KO. Give him the KO. Do him dirty. Get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here, man. Look at us. Just outplaying this guy. Outplaying him for battle number one. Solid, solid, solid. And we didn't have to waste a turn with that Grim Snarl to use a Sucker Punch to proc policy. We just made the hard read to say, hey, we're going into Protect. He can proc it on its own. But, yo, look how much damage this Wildfire is doing. Ridiculous, dude. They, they got to do something about that. I think that's broken. I think that, the G-Max Canyonade Vortex, the Vine Lash damage, and the uh, the Vocalith damage, I think that it's so broken. I think four turns is a lot. Maybe two turns will we'll actually dial it down a little bit. But he's going to go into Regilecki here. And in this case, I could go for just Quake, and I think Quake is going to be the play. I think Quake is going to be the play. I could just Spear Break over onto Whimsicott. I don't think it's Sash if it's rocking indoor, you know? But let me see his other Pokemon. Let me see this thing's other Pokemon. Let me see these thing's other Pokemon. Let's say I go into a ground move. We should be fine. Yeah, say we go into a ground move. It's fine, so we're going to stick with that move. I think we just Spear Break over onto Whimsicott. We could paralyze it. But I think I'm just going to Spirit Break. Just start teeing that thing now. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. That might KO me. Let's see. And it does. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Grimstar is out there. He got off his screen. He got off his Thunder Wave. And we were able to take out his Dynamax Mod. And this Gleam is going to do absolutely nothing to us. He'll be soaking that up. And we're going to say, hey, yo. Regilecki, get on out my game. Get on out my series. We don't want you here. We do not want you here. Get him out of here. So there's another big KO for us. So Galio is popping off. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, once we get this thing's weakest fossil rolling, it is such a threat in this format. It is so good, Dynamax. It is so, so good. Like we just dumped on a Charizard. Um, who do I think his final mine is? I really don't know. I just want to go into Gudra. Granted, like if I was actually like seriously playing, I would go into Incineroar here. But this is totally fine going into uh going into Gudra here. Going into lovely little Gudra. We have one more turn in Dynamax, and I think I just go after his Kyogre, right? I think we just go after his Kyogre, right? Good double down into him. I'm going to Lightning. And what do I do? What do I do? What's the Jeans play? Uh, good Sludge Bomb. Good Ice Beam. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb. But actually, what's going to do more? Sludge Bomb or... I think they both do the same amount. I'm actually going to double down into Kyogre. Just in case he kills my... Uh, 
kills one of my Pokemon, which I don't think he will, because we have that, yeah, that late up. Working wonders, and it's not very effective on Gudra, and Gleam should be able to soak it up again. Look at that, Light Screen and Assault Vessel on Gudra. This thing is an absolute tank up against special attackers. That's why Gudra is so good. Max Lightning is going to fly through here. Kyogre, get on out of here. We don't want you here. We do not want you here. Sludge Bomb is going to slide over to the left side. And are we going to get another get on out of here? Dude, Solkaleo just ran this. Three KOs for him. And Wimscott, get on out of here. Get out my face, yo. What a battle to start off today's video. 1 0, absolute domination. Top two or second. Look to go back to back. Okay, I see this guy rocking a Swift Swim Bear Tick team alongside with Kyogre. I do not mind Kyogre teams, but when it's like overused meta teams, it's really, really annoying. But this is a cool Kyogre team. I love going up against teams like this. He has the Swift Swim Bear Tick, the Kyogre, the Glaring Moltres. Then he also has the Tornadus, Incineroar, and Amoongus. But, uh,. Who should I lead? I think Incineroar could be a great lead for Fake Out, for Snarls, all that instances could be really, really nice for us. Um, I'm trying to think. I am trying to think. Actually, Grimmsnarl is Grimmsnarl is so good all around. I really love Grimmsnarl. I think I'm going to Dynamax Gudra here. I think Gudra's just going to be a great little Dynamax round. I could go into Gyarados. We could do Wonders here, especially in the rain. Might lead him. Might lead Gary. Gary the Gyarados. Or I could just lead so good again. But you guys already saw that. So I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I am going to bring Sol Solgaleo in the back end. Just because he's super, super good. But maybe I should have led him. Because he does have Wild Charge. And I could have did wonders. I could have did wonders. But uh, Grimstar is so good on this team. He really has like a lot of versatility. He has Speed Control with Thunder Wave. He has a Light Screen setup. He has a Spirit Break. He has a Sucker Punch. He's just super, super great all around. So that's why I always love Grimstar. I always love Grimstar. But, uh, what do I think he's going to lead? This is tough. Obviously, I could have went into the Solgaleo combo, and I think we could have just steamrolled this guy. Like, big time. Let's see who he leads. He's going to lead Kyogre and the Bear. Kyogre and Tornados. Okay, so, he has a cool team, yet he still leads the meta. <laughs> yet he still leads the meta squad here. The rain's going to start up here. A nice, lovely little light screen's going to be great for us. And then I could just whip into a Power Whip. Or I could go into a Thunder Wave. I don't know if Power Whip could be a reply. Which I think it is going to be a reply. And then we'll set up a Light Screen next. Because if we if we get land this Power Whip, this Water Spout's not going to do a lot. And then we can guarantee ourselves setting up a Light Screen next turn. I just don't see him taking out my Grim Snarl. I just see Tailwind Water Spout flying. Right? Seems pretty straightforward. It seems like nothing new. Let's see. Let me grab a drink. Let me grab a drink. Okay? Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated out here. He's gonna end up you know, protecting Tornados. We love to see it. We love to see it considering we're going after Kai over here. Oh, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. So he's reading what I'm doing. So he's just checking out what I'm doing. He had he had no other he he did not know. He just did not know. He was sitting there like, yo, maybe I'll throw protect you, but no, it's fine. Uh do we do it again? Do we do it again? That's the real question. Or do we think he's gonna swap? Let me see what Pokemon he can swap into. Let's swap an Incineroar. I could totally see this thing swapping, right? I'm just gonna set up a Light Screen here now. And I could taunt, or I could go into yet another Power Whip, but I'm thinking I'm just going after you. I'm thinking he swaps Kyogre. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, no. No, let's post that threat. Let's set up the Light Screen. Let's post the threat. I knew it, man. He's gonna go in Sinor. Amoongus, okay, that's fine. So at least we set up the light stream. I'll take that all day. He can start rolling out with rage powders. Um, this one's gonna be tough because oh I can just taunt it. I'm just gonna taunt it next turn. I was gonna say he could just start putting me to sleep because we can't really kill it. But he's gonna drop a hurricane here. I'm gonna whip up on the Grim Snarl, and I'm gonna paralyze onto the uh I'm gonna paralyze onto the uh Thunderous and then we're going to taunt this Amoongus. Do a little taunt you onto him. Let's just play this one slow. Let's keep rocking out here. And let me taunt this thing. And then eventually I'll swap. Then eventually I will swap. Let's see. Rage Powder or... This thing could just be going for Spores. If I was him, I would I would go for the Spore. Not thinking my Gyarados is rocking Taunt. But we are. But we are. Yeah, see, he's definitely going for a Spore. There's a nice little Thunder Wave there. We get off a lovely little Paralyze. Because Paralyze is just super, super good. And Taunt is coming out from Gary. Gary says, hey, no Spores allowed. You're not allowed to do that. TV was going for that. Hurricane is going to connect again. Gonna be able to eat that one up. Hopefully no ducks. No ducks. Sir, you cannot spore after Okay, so we have that rolling. 
Um, I could just go into a spirit break, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Onto you, they're chipping off, and then I am going to hard swap into Gudra, and then I think we are just gonna roll out with Dynamax. Right? Wait, sounds good, right? I'm looking at a lot. Even though I want to get out Solgaleo, Sucker Punch into him, and proc weakest policy, I don't know. I want to have a fun video. I want to have a fun video where we showcase the whole team. So let's get out Gujar here and roll from there. And he's going to be paralyzed there. And we're just going to be able to drop Spirit Break, drop that thing special attack, and deal a decent amount of damage to him. Deal a decent amount of damage. Let's see what Amoongus goes for. He goes for a Palm Puff into Grimstarl. Yep. Grimstarl soaks that one up. And now we're getting out the one and only Gujar for a nice little dynamite. Uh, can I Thunder Wave on Amoongus? I'm trying to think. Can we Thunder Wave on Amoongus? I feel like we can, but at the same time, I'm like, looking at it, and I feel like we can't. He's Grass Poison. Yeah, it's not a Powder. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's Thunder Wave on it. Let's do it. Let's Paralyze you, and I am going to Dynamax, and grab myself a nice, lovely Special Defense Boost, and hopefully we can pick up this KO. If not, we can Sucker Punch next turn. But I really just want the special attack boost for my Guja, just to make it a lot stronger. So, let's run it. If I really want the KO, I would go into the Hailstorm. But it's not really going to do much if we change up weather. He's just going to get Kyogre back in. I'm going to go for here. Look for the KO. I can tuck the punch next turn if I want to. But I really want this special attack boost. It just works so well. It just works so well. I'm hoping we can pick up the KO alongside with it. We might be able to. We shall see. We shall see. Thunder Wave's going to pop. Yes, sir. Getting after it. Getting after it. Paralyzing these Pokemon up left and right. And he might Palm Puff onto his uh, Gronadus. Oh, yo. That's lovely, yo. Dude, the Paralyze is on our side right now. We getting after it. Playing this one slow. Max is going to fly. Can we get the KO with this? We do not. I didn't think we were going to be able to. But I did think it was going to do more damage. But more importantly, we got this nice, lovely special attack boost. And we rolling out from here. Let's do it dirty. This thing eats up a berry. Get out of my face. This thing's eating up a berry. But I could actually go for another special defense or special attack boost. Could be nice. And this thing's just going to roll into a palm puff. Is he healing? No, he's dealing damage. It was just dealing damage. The rain does stop. And hmm, what do I do? Let's play, Jeans. Moongus shakes off the taunt. If we go after Moongus, I might double down and kill him. Go for a spirit break here. And then I could, I could flare. Flare or hailstorm? That's what I play here. We're doing this both the same amount of damage. Um, I might flare just in case he wants to go for an attacking move. That could uh, make his hurricane miss. That's what we're going to do here. May pick up the KO with the flare. Oh, this thing's paralyzed. Yo, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh, and Sport is grass, so he can't, he can't put my Gujar to sleep. Well, we're just going to dump on Lucas. We're going to say, hey, get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you one bit. That's a great turn by us. We change the weather. Hopefully, he goes into Kyogre. Because at that point, if he goes into Kyogre, then I'm just going to change up the weather once again. That's what we're hoping for. He goes into this, and we all hit up on you. And I could Sucker Punch and pretty much finish off that Pokemon, but I would rather go for the uh, Spirit Break. Spirit Break is definitely your call. What a solid battle. What a solid battle. Yo, I love Gudra. Just, like, look at it. Look at him, and has like, he has, like, the little ooze dripping off of him. Just so sick, yo. So sick. He's going to go back out into Kyogre. We have to change up weather here. That's a must, right? It's a must. I think we Spirit Break over onto him. And then we uh, change up weather. Oh, I could Thunder Wave him. Could protect this turn. I'm going to do that. And I think I just go... I can see him guarding. I can see him guarding. So I am going to do this. I am going to do this. I am going to change up weather. He might protect. He does not protect. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to slow him down. You know, Paralyze just works so well on the speed control board. It's just super, super well. He's paralyzed again, yo. This dude's fuming. This dude's fuming. We're going to be able to take him out here. And more importantly, we are going to be able to change up the, that weather, which he cannot change back now because he cannot swap out. So that's a huge turn for us. Unless he Dynamaxes and goes into a Max Geyser, but we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. But at this point, I'm he's slower than me. I'm just going to start slowly teeing off on him. I'm going to go for a Water Spout. And that does kill my Grimstarl. That's a little rough. I didn't want it to kill my Grimstarl, but it's fine. We can bring out Incineroar. We can start snarling up left and right. And we get off Intimidate if his final Pokemon is a physical attack. So, yo, I'm loving how we're playing right now. I'm loving how we're playing. Oh, I thought I had Incineroar, man. I thought we had Incineroar. Get out of my face. We bring out Solgaleo then? Hmm, let's play. What is the play here? Hydros could be good. Hmm. 
Do we know his final Pokemon? I don't think we do. I'm gonna bring out Gary. I am going to bring out Gary. I think Gary's supplied. Just because if he does have a physical attacker, just so we can get the Intimidate Molin right now. It's gonna be Moltres. Okay. So our electric on our Solgaleo is going to work. Wonders. We have no more turns left in Dynamax. He has all of his turns left in Dynamax. And at this point, do we read the Kyogre maybe protecting? I don't think Kyogre Dynamax is because it is paralyzed. I see the, the bird more so protecting. The lovely little bird. I could have a policy. I think could have a policy. I'm going to hit up on you and do an Ice Beam. we go for a Poison. Gene Spider. I think we just make sure that this Kyogre goes down. I think we just make sure this Kyogre goes down and hope it doesn't protect, right? Let's see. We shall see. I don't think it's going to protect, though. I think he just Dynamaxes Moltres. He's going to go for, like, the Airstreams. And kind of go from there. But, yo, we could have just easily won this battle if we won this Solgaleo. But we're looking to have some fun with it. Our Gruja did do some work. Our Gruja did do some work here. I really do like. I really do like. So, Bird does get the Dynamax. We saw this one coming. And I think she's going to go into here. So we cannot have weather, which is good. We took that. We took that right away from him. Like, hey, no, no weather for you. Kyogre does try to protect, but he, he is paralyzed. So that's a huge turn for us. Power Whip's gonna fly through here, start chipping away some damage on that, and Sludge Bomb should be able to come in here and pick up that KO onto it. And Airstream shouldn't be able to kill any of my Pokemon here. Yeah, Goo just soaking that up, yo. Light Screen and Assault Vest, yo. Get this thing out my face. Get this thing out my face, yo. Goo just so tanky up against special attackers. He's not even Dynamax, and look at him just soaking that up. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here, yo. Paralyze. I'm gonna get Grimstar on MVP for this match. Goo just a close second because he's picking up KOs left and right. That's his third KO. But yo. The paralyzers are just too powerful sometimes. One, they have their speed. And then two, they have a chance of not even going in the turn. So paralyzes, phenomenal. Phenomenal. That was so good. Uh, let's roll into this waterfall. Let's just start slowly chipping away some damage here. I'm not going to uh I'm not gonna go into an ice beam just in case that this thing is weakness policy. I think that's like its only way of winning this battle. But I really do not want to drop an ice beam just yet. Maybe next turn we'll do it. But Guja is still soaking up. Just an absolute tank. Just an absolute tank. He gets a crit too. And we're still eating it up like that. All day, baby. All day. Special defense does get dropped. I'm cool with that. Waterfall is going to pop. And maybe we can pick off a poison here. Which would be lovely. Come on. Show me a poison. Give me a poison here. Give me a poison here. Give it to me. Give it to me. No poison. No poison. All right. Hail chipping away. Um, I think we're fine. I think we are fine here. I could... Oh, late screen wears off. That's a little rough. This is his last turn in Dynamax, so. Go into another waterfall. And I'm going to try to get off an ice beam here. And. It'll be fine. I, th I think Gudra does go down here. But if he doesn't, this thing is going to ha have to take up on an ice beam. But good thing for me, just slowly waiting this one out. He's going to take out my Gudra. That's fine. Bye, Gudra. Thanks for picking up three big old KOs for us. Three big old KOs. I love that we use Kuja. I love that I, that I got this on video. Because if I was like, if, if this was like, my life's on the line, I was going to go into Solgaleo, proc that policy, and just roll out from there. That was 100% the play. But I was like, yeah, we're recording for the Jeans online gaming community, baby. Let's get him some good content out here. Let's bring out the Gudra. But we have Solgaleo in the back end, which is very, very good. And we can roll out from him, and I think we should be fine because a dark move and a... Uh, and an air boom really ain't doing much and then we're just gonna wild charge and pretty much solidify this battle so go to another waterfall and then wild charge then wild charge let's see fire wrath coming in here not even gonna kill one of us not even gonna kill one of us get out my face not even gonna kill one of us they're super effective shot we soak up all day i knew that was gonna do good amount of damage but i knew it wasn't gonna kill any of us wild charge can come through here and that's ggs get him out of here dude get him out of here that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's go 2 0 for this video. Let's hop into our third and final and look to grab ourselves a perfect record with this Soul Galio and Gudra's team. Gudra and Grimmsnarl absolutely ripping up in that last battle. You love to see it. We're hopping into our third and final battle and we're looking for that perfect record for you guys. Going up against a Dialga team, a pretty meta Dialga team, alongside with Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and then he has the Landers and the Thunders. Okay, as much as I want to go into Soul Galio, I gotta bring Primarina in this battle. Trying to have some fun with this one. Gotta showcase the full squad. And how should I play it? 
Who should I lead? Because who do I think he's going to lead? Potentially Incineroar. And it's definitely an option for the lead. But I could go into my Incineroar. Maybe just Parting Shot turn 1. I could go into Grimstar because Grimstar is a lovely little Pokemon here. I do really like Grimstar. I do really, really like Grimstar. He could actually proc Policy if he's rocking it with the Alga. So, hmm. Do I, do I want Grim? I think I do want Grim for Speed Control. I think I'm going to bring... Mm, I gotta bring Primarina. I gotta bring Primarina. Like I said, I have to bring Primarina. I haven't showcased yet. So I'm gonna bring Primarina. And I think final Pokemon is either gonna be Solgaleo. It's definitely Solgaleo or Gudra, but I'm leaning more towards Solgaleo as much as I wanna bring Gudra. Because Gudra can't really do too much here. Especially Diablo's Dragon type. If he's rocking Dragon move, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Same thing, he has the Fairy with the, uh, with the top of Finny. So I think Solgaleo is definitely in a play. And we had a full Full battle with Gudra in the last one, so we can we can let Gudra ride the pine for this one, sit the bench. But yeah, we jamming out the Peony song today. It's such a jam, dude. Like I'm telling you, it sounds like a song from Mario Circuit in Mario Kart. Yeah, I want them to come out with a new Mario Kart so so bad. So so bad. But uh guys, if there is any Pokemon that you guys want me to showcase, whether it be a restricted mod or a non-restricted mod, put it in the comment section down below. I would love to get you guys feedback. I know people were saying Ice Fire Calyrex teams. I definitely want to bring one to you guys in the next video, so. Stay tuned for that one. But I definitely want to do it with the Raladon team. I personally want to do it with the Raladon team and the Exigent team. I think that could be really, really cool. But let me know your guys' uh, who you guys want to see in the comment section. Well, he's going to go Dialga alongside with Grimstarl. And in this point, I'm just going to go here and I think I'm just going to set up a Lovely little light screen. I could paralyze Dialga, but I think he might protect one of them. The way it does. Big going to pop. Love to see it. Let's set up the light screen. And I wonder what the Dialga's going I do wonder what the Alba's going The light screen is out and about, dude. Grimstar on this team. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to be able to soak that up. I think I paralyzed and just snarl. I think it's going to be my play. Or I can parting shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to parting shot and just uh, start throwing paralyzes left and right. That is the Gene's play. Hopefully, maybe he'll Dynamax here. He's not. He sets up a reflect. Thinking we're going for like a player blitz. We're not. We're just going to uh, slow this thing down. Which is lovely. And then we're just going to dip out of here. And he might just take out my Grimstarl here. He might take out my Grimstarl. Maybe not. Because the parting shot is going to the like a decent amount. So hopefully we can get off one more turn with Grimstarl. In this case. You know what we're doing. <laughs> you know what we're doing. <laughs> you know exactly what we're doing. You know exactly. <laughs> Dude, we should be able to eat up this flash cannon. He's paralyzed anyway. Mwah. You know what we're doing, baby. Let's get after it. Dynamax, and we are going to Sun Seal. Uh, we're just going through a Max Seal Spike. Take out this Grimstar. I'm really not worried about this. Uh, really not worried about this Diablo here. We're going to take out this Grimstar. Paralyze the next Pokemon, and we're going to roll out from here. We're going to roll out from here. We're looking for this perfect record for you guys. And I've been playing so good in Series 11. So, so good. Yeah, this team is fire. This seems so good. I feel like there's like something in my throat though. He say hydrate. He withdraws the Alga. I don't really care. We're not even going for that anyway. He's gonna swap it to the top of Quinny. Who I am going to paralyze next turn. I am going to paralyze. And I wonder what this Grimstar is going for. He could really could really do me dirty here. With some moves and stuff and things. We die Max and we get in after with the Solgaleo. <clears throat> But I'm actually glad we're getting to show off Solgaleo yet again, even though first battle we dominated with him. But this was just like another way. We didn't even lead him, yet we're still outplaying, parting shotting out against Solgaleo in at the right time, and rolling out from there. But we forced him to swap his Diago because we were just we were just too much to handle for him. Now we're getting sucker punch. Oh, 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 come on. Now we're double sucker punching. Come on, man. Now we're doubling down on it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. We're going to sucker punch here. And we... <laughs> <laughs> We're just teeing off on our Solgaleo here. Still Spike coming in here. We don't care. We don't care. Get Grimstar out of here. Imagine if I would have read that. That would have been hilarious. If I would have read his Sucker Punch. <laughs> he just slapped up on me. And I was just like, you know what? He wants another one. And then we just come in across hit him. This one's on the house. Oh, dude. That's my favorite SpongeBob quote. You guys know the... Uh, this one's on the house when Squidward punches the uh, or throws the pizza in the dude's face. Oh, it's so funny. That episode's great. The Krusty Krab pizza one. He's sitting there. They finally get him his food. He's like, 
You forgot my drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that line gets me every time, but we're rolling pretty strong here. I'm just gonna take out the top of Finny here. Or actually, he's probably gonna fake me out, but I am just gonna go into a Quake here. I'm gonna take out Incineroar. I'm going to paralyze the top of Actually, I cannot paralyze the top of Finny because he's lame and he has this stupid terrain out and about. That's all good. I'm gonna Dynamax Finny here? Or Incineroar. I'm hoping Incineroar because we might just be able to dump on that thing. And I know we outspeed Incineroar. Or is it going to be Finny? It's going to be Incineroar. So this is like a last ditch effort here. I think we outspeed him, right? I believe we do. If not, we're dead and we lose this battle. We shall see. We do indeed outspeed. Indeed, dubitably, we outspeed. I'm going to Quake. Man, that does not KO. That's a decent amount of damage, but this thing is bulking up. He's bulking up. Is he buried? Is he rocking a berry? You get a special defense boost, but he's just gonna take me out with a flare. But yo, know, just know we have Primarine in the back end. Moonblast's gonna fly through. That's gonna kill. That's bye bye, Grimmy. Actually, maybe not. Yes, maybe not because of the light screen. The lovely right light screen. Flare's gonna fly through here. I think that KO is so valuable, right? Nope. This thing's a tank. This thing's an absolute tank. Special defense boost coming in clutch for both moves right there. Actually, not for both moves. Only for the uh. Actually, the special defense boost is what made my Grimstone live there, which is huge. And now we get a special attack drop onto top of Finny. Mwah. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now we come out here. He can guard. Do we think he's going to guard? Quite possibly he might guard. I think he might guard. But I'm going to read the guard. I'm going to change up terrain. And then I am just going to... I guess I'll spear break. Because we, we can't paralyze him with Prankster. I think he guards anyway. He just cancels battle. Yo, GG. Let's go. He actually had a fighting chance. I think he canceled a little too early. But hey, we take those perfect records all day. I like this team more than I thought I would. This team was phenomenal. Grab themselves a perfect record and absolutely dominate. The Sogalia weakness policy combo with that Grimstone on the pocket is just insane. It absolutely dominates. And Guja is an absolute tank on this team who can hit hard at the same time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.